know my favorite ever roses. I'm going to tell you straight away that it's going to be slightly tricky to do painting on the flip chart. It's much easier to do that on the tip, but I'm going to try that. So let's start with the black and the first petals you are going to do, you'll start from the top. So that will go like that. That's the first one. And once it's dry, you can repeat for better coverage if necessary. And then you'll add another smaller one in the middle of that one. So it will be somewhere here. Okay. Now, once the smaller one is dry, what you're going to do, you will cut that line here and you will slightly close that to the center. It's a very small move just closing side. So that will go like that. It will be much easier to, to see and understand on the tip. Okay, so don't panic. Okay, now that side done, then you can do another one slightly wider at the bottom, somewhere here, and it goes somewhere there. And again, you can see there is a couple of levers and then the first level, that's the top, the middle. Then you've got another level, that's the middle of the flower. And then you've got bottom, and that's all goes on a curvy line, okay? Then with the, this side here, what we are going to do, we are going to close that side up here. So again, Starting with your brush like so and working towards that line to meet those two points. So it will go from here up there. They need to meet. So they will create like one consistent line. Okay? And that will be like so. Okay, then from the second side, another petal, curve that. Then another one from the left, somewhere here, wider, and one more overlap. From here, somewhere there. You can keep adding petals, as many as you want but I think that's going to be just enough. And what is the most important here with those type of rows is meeting those two lines, okay? That's where the beauty comes, because then it looks like it's a one line done with one move only, but it's a little trick, okay? So uh, with the rows, of course, you can do uh, more details, even like small, small leaves but with this one I want you to try to do something like that I'm going to show with the uh, thin brush as well but it's going to look like that you'll start with a high point then go down just like a very long cliff okay and then the beauty in this particular finishing up um, sample you have to stay thin, thinner than better, and the lines are very close to each other. So from the right side, you'll grab that point, pull that lower. Grab that point, pull that lower. Grab it, lower. Grab it, lower. And so on, and so on. Then you can add some curvy lines or straight crossing lines. For instance, you can do something like that from, from that point somewhere here, then shake it and straight. Then another one, shake it and straight. Something like that. Plus, of course, my favorite ever dots. Do them as many as you want. But that's just something different than typical ordinal leaves. Of course, you can do them, but for the finishing touches, we're going to stick to that, okay?
your turn for my rose I'm going to create my background with a transfer foil as well holographic gold so I'm using my my paint gel to be able to transfer the foil into my tip so just paint it the way you like just like so make sure it's not too thin any way you like really and don't cure that for two minutes now gel's been cured and I'm using my holographic gold foil so just press it against and remove the foil Now clean up whatever happened on the top using just ordinary UV cleanser. And once it's done, you can tap it with clear gel and then cure again. Now wipe off the sticky layer and then buff off the shine using your soft buffer. One stroke brush size for angled or flat, totally up to you. Grab some water. Now darker color goes to the bottom and I'm using dark purple and light blue. Mix them together. Start with your top, so just small move. Now let it dry a little bit and repeat and then do another the same move but in the middle of the previous one. One and now the smaller one. in the middle here just a small one I'm going to close that side my left side and work into the center so grab that side and just work to the center just like so and repeat again now you can do your left side from the side go slightly lower press your brush a bit harder and pull to the middle that saves you some time while you're waiting until the middle is dry and now going back there Place your brush 45 degree angle and now you'll be working to the top and up to this line here so they will have to join. Place 45 degree and now work it up, wiggle, wiggle and go up here. Okay, now once it's drier you can do another side place dark to dark starting a little bit higher and again start small then press it harder and pull to the middle now at the bottom one more just like so now once it's dry repeat again you can leave one rose, you can add one more, totally up to you. But now I want to, f I want to show you how to do finishing touches.
Now using my thin brush and black paint add water. Mix it really nicely. You can start from the top, just make sure to stay really really thin. You don't want to have any thick lines here. And now from the top pull it lower. Line, line by line very close to each other. From the other side Some more elements up here. From the bottom, start from the corner here, up, down, wiggle, 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 and pull it lower. Another one to the side, pull down, wiggle, and lower. One more, pull lower, just to do a couple more here. Just like so. Now with the white paint, you can add a couple of more lines for the highlight. White paint plus some water. Pull with your flower. Small, thin lines. Now, once it's dry, top gel. Just paint it over. I love that foil underneath because it brings up the whole shine. And that's your next design.